guys, thought I'd give you a wee update on what I've been doing. Um, these were some bases that we made and that we've taken and we've cast up in resin so we can make lots of them. Um, they're uh, based on a, a city street devastation sort of theme. So I've tried to keep it looking like uh, broken down tarmac and flagstone and the aggregate underneath those and have painted them with the, the sort of yellow street lines. So, these are the 25mm ones, the standard bases. As you can see, there's quite a bit of depth in those, and there's lots of little gravel pieces. And there's one there with a nice little curb edge. You can see, there's tried to make it the, the difference in height between different levels quite clear. It followed pretty much that sort of grey stone theme with the, the black tarmac. Nice little bits of, of detail added here and there. Let's see the differences in heights between different pieces. But these were really quite a bit of fun to do. Here's a piece of solid that looks like it's had a an impact in the centre of it, taking a crush in the centre of it. But I, I certainly enjoyed doing that. It was it took a wee while researching different styles of uh, broken road surfaces. It looks like it's had some form of track dig into it. On its way. And we have here the 40mm Terminator bases. And again, really quite multi layered setup. And the sort of rough course underneath. And different little cracks here and there. And two pieces there with a curb edge. So I try to shade in the depths of the, the curb stone to try and give that, that strength into the, the sort of cracks and depths. Piece one, different folds and cracks where you've had stress marks through the tarmac and okay. the big piece, the, the dreadnought base, the 60mm one which has been taken and sculpted down in to the base so if you look on the edge you're seeing down and it goes right down and see the sort of depth that goes down into there and it's splaying out from the edges of something catastrophic has happened up here and caused a widening at the front to a car. But uh, basically a large amount of washes and dry brushes and uh, the black top surface with the, the yellow lines. So a simple enough paint scheme which seems to bring out the detail on things reasonably well. So I certainly enjoyed doing them. It wasn't, to say, a, a complicated paint scheme, but it's a simple paint scheme often is all that's needed to bring out the details and the highlights in a piece. So let me know what you think, guys, if you like those. I would much appreciate your comments on them and uh, I'd be interested to see how some of my Space Marines, my blood angels, when they get there, look on these. So, take care everyone. See you later.